breakfast. <clears throat> oh, I ended up. I was thinking, like, I got my boy Jack here in town today for the first time, and, like, I was gonna go show him this burger joint that we have locally. It's called Burgatory, and, like, you just get, like, these craft menu piece of paper. Like, you fucking get the pencil, you stencil in, like, each individual ingredient, like, the bun, the burger type, all the toppings. It's, like, super authentic and local. Pittsburgh, Burgatory, like, it's fucking great, right? But I was thinking, like, because <clears throat> he was like, saying, like, he was shitting his pants from the Chipotle cheese. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I was thinking in my head, like, everyone likes cheeseburgers, right? But if you, like, pull up to, like, McDonald's and you're like, hey, can I have one hamburger? What? Hamburger. If you use the word hamburger and not cheeseburger, like, if you don't get cheese on your burger, fuck you. <laughs> Say that one more time. What's wrong with hamburgers? Lactose intolerant people are yeah. weak. You have to like take account for like people who are lactose intolerant. How about you just not be lactose intolerant? Let me just... You could take like a whole bottle of lactase pills. I'm not going to do that for one cheeseburger. Can I have a hamburger? What are you guys doing? I want to know. <laughs> Store bought bakery items from like... Your local grocery store, you know, like Giant Eagle, Kroger, H-E-B, um, Walmart, whatever the fuck. Local, like, baked goods are always delicious. She bought some yesterday. They're sitting here. Typically, my breakfast lately, like, for the bulk, the tail end, and this, like, weird period I'm in, in between bulking and cutting. Because right now, I'm not, like, bulking. I'm not cutting. I'm kind of, like, maintaining just health phase, if you want to call it, like rebounding until I start my cut. Usually right now I'm doing like a nice light breakfast before work every day, like a bagel, English muffin with some peanut butter, like a protein shake, just nice and light out the door. But these are sitting here and I have an absolutely massive leg day on the agenda. So I kind of want to attempt a volume PR today of 405 for eight because I did 365 last week. I, I started changing my squat stance up and manipulating a few things. I'm um, going barefoot now, and ever since so, my squats have just been going way up, and I'm like, dude, fuck, I gotta carb up today, so like, I think I'm just gonna have a muffin. It looks so good. Take a little bite. Mm, blueberry. The muffin got absolutely deleted. He's still eating it. I just stood over the sink, unwrapped the fucking thing, and put it in your mouth. Like, I think muffins might be the easiest thing to eat. They just melt in your mouth, and they're so delicious. So, at, oh, I also did choke down a banana. So I'm at, like, what? You said those were, like, 60, 64 carb muffins? 61. Oh, yeah. So that banana is, like, 20, 25. I'm sitting, like, 80, 85 carbs. And since for protein, the easiest digestible protein pre-workout, way isolate. And actually, uh, Farm Fed just restocked the peanut butter and honey flavor, which I say a lot of flavors are like really good because they are all really good. But if I had to really choose one daily driver, it's going to be peanut butter and honey. This thing's absolutely fucking delicious. And now in the 25 gram serving edition, we have increased the protein to 25 grams of protein per scoop in every tub going forward. <laughs> This has digestive enzymes, so there's really not going to be any implications on the gut. But I use two scoops, two scoops of whey, a muffin, and a banana. And if I'm still hungry, another muffin. I've never tried this before. Cereal milk, axle sledge, first taste. Mmm, it's pretty sweet. It's very sweet. It's good though. I just want to show you guys the behind the scenes. For it takes to be real grown. shit, grown man. You gotta do your dishes. This is the real shit. All that YouTube shit's fake and bullshit. Unrealistic. Pittsburgh, PA. Here we go. Yeah, dude. Here we go. Do you know how to? Are, what are you adjusting? Can't show what? The rise. <laughs> Zoom it. That shit ain't going in there. Hell no. We'll just blur it. Hold this instead. 
Good work. Actually, fuck it, dude. No, I just nah. Cause I'll just it. say straight up that my best friend, one of my best friends, literally designed this fucking can, formulated and flavor profiled the look and the flavor of cotton candy rice fuel for Sugar Sean. So he sent me some, and I sent him some just works. This is part of being in the industry and having friends at multiple companies you can support each other so like if he's doing great things i'm gonna support him and if i'm doing great things he'll support me and it goes back and forth so this is pretty cool because i watch sugar show i watch the ufc so i don't fuck with cotton candies typically because like bang bang cotton candy is like sewer water ass it's that's pretty good you gotta try the melon pop Cream soda won't be beat, but this is my number two right Cream now. Cream soda is my favorite. I'll tell you what, this is better than uh, what's the one? It's not better than Shark Bite. It's better than the uh, which ones did you did I buy? I Rainbow Sherbet, the unicorn blood. No, no, I haven't. Icy's. No, I, yeah, that one, that one, the icy. The, I had the blue raz. Icy's are cool because of the collabs, but I can't drink them every day. They're like really sweet. Can I say that on camera? What? That's better. No, you have a personal preference. Okay. Yeah. That's my personal preference. Take the soda off your wrist. That, make, just make sure that stays at one over 125, because that's... This is my first video in the new apartment. Really? Yeah, but I... You should do it to her. Yeah, but I might... Have, video. In a different video. Mm -hmm. Like, separately, by itself. We could. We could. Do it. <laughs> I did it with my ass the other day. I was like, hold my ass out. It's easy. What if there's something right here? Fuck you. I have to hold it. You have to. I'm scared. Oh. Show us the fit, man. Show us the fit. All black. I like, like, my, like my heart. They're gray on the black on the back and black on the front. Wee. Yeah, this is not fun. This is not the weather. I don't understand how it was 70 degrees two weeks ago. And now it's what 30? I might be selling this bitch. <laughs> No, because we had, dude, did you ever go to those video stores? Mm -hmm. Were you a Blockbuster, Hollywood, or Mammoth guy? Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Did you bump the shutter speed? Hello. You ready to get this workout? Time to train.
So am I still waiting for this world to stop hating? Can't find a good reason, can't find hope to believe in. Yeah, so I really am bad at doing outros. I always tend to forget them. I kind of hit like the climactic part of the video, go to the gym, hit the workout, and after that, like I'm either just toe, something comes up, or I just straight up forget. So I apologize for the lack of content after the workout, but that's just, that's just how it's gonna be for this video. Um, finally kind of getting settled into the new place here, and this is like my first real video in my new setup here like i just kind of have this thing i'm gonna do a full apartment office setup tour um in the near future here probably for a whole video by itself or within a video just because i i really i, I used to really like those kind of videos when i was younger and i like i just enjoyed that old 2016 style of like youtube vlogs face house style like that kind of thing so like if i could bring that to the fitness space cool whatever but yeah i just I suck at making outros, so that's what it is. I'm trying to get back into consistency. A lot of things are changing. I'm obviously really busy at work with Axe and Sledge, but I really want to start taking my training serious again. I am trying to lock in, as they would say, in the biz, because <clears throat> for me, I just really enjoy cutting a lot more than bulking. I know a lot of people would probably enjoy bulking more because you get to have more food. It's more leniency, less cardio more PRs, you're stronger, you're bigger, you're making actual gains. But for me, coming from being fat, I just, there's something about cutting to me. I just, I love revealing shreds. I love putting in a lot of fucking work. I like dieting. I like being hard on myself. It's a mentally tough task to do. And I think you just come out stronger. So like, I just, I like the challenge, I think. And I like sweating and being lean and fit and thin. I just, I like it better. So yeah, that's per my personal preference. And for that reason, I'm thinking about actually hiring a coach for the very first time. I have a call tomorrow night with a certain somebody that hopefully if all goes as planned will be my first actual like bodybuilding like physique coach. So that's exciting because I think if um, I have, I believe I do have the um, work ethic and dedication it takes to diet and train. I just think when it comes to my physique and my uh, overall of uh, physique and diet, there's a, I know the basics of everything and I have like the intensity and I have the, the purpose. It's all there. I just, there's a few things like when it comes to the manipulations of things and um, the tedious stuff, I start to question myself when it comes to making certain decisions, when to do certain things, when not to do certain things, how to do certain things. So I think actually making the choice to invest in a coach 
could be very beneficial for myself and just take that questioning part out of it. So that way I don't even have to think about that mental aspect of it. I literally just, here's the diet, here's the training, fucking do it and get the results. So coach has credibility. I really like the coach. Coach works with X and Sledge. So I think it's all just a big, well round circle, win, win. I'm excited. Uh, future seems bright for just everything, work, social media, physique, fitness, relationships, financials, <sighs> stressful. Life is crazy, but I'm trying to enjoy living in the moment, not taking everything for granted, absorbing my surroundings when they're presenting themselves in that moment and just being here. So really appreciate you guys if you made it this far to watch the entire video. Um, I know my shit's not nothing too crazy. I just, I really enjoy doing this stuff. I really enjoy editing, making YouTube videos, the process. It's just, it, it's a form of an artistic passion for me and I just, I just enjoy it. So that's what it is. And I try to capture as much as I can and put it into a short movie, short form, if you will. Um, I do do this full time for my job, uh, for Seth, but for myself, I still like to somewhat try to produce with the footage I have since I do have to rely on other people. And I wanna get back to weekly uploads if possible and get consistent again and hold myself accountable. I'm ready, it's gonna be exciting. There's a lot happening, but I appreciate you guys. Until the next one.